Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Here is a new series about Recycler View and you might already know that a Recycler View is one of the most useful component of Android and in almost of the application we use Recycler View. We use Recycler View to display a large set of data in a list. For example, a movie ticket booking application that displays us a list of movies. So in this series, I will try to cover almost everything about Recycler View. And remember, this time we will be using the Kotlin language. So enough talking guys, let's start. But before starting, I would like to request you that please subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And don't forget to hit the like button and please share this video with your friends as well if you found it useful later okay now uh, for recycler view we will create a new project but here i am going to cheat a little i will not create an empty project but i will pull this project from this github repository and it is my own project and i am pulling it because i have done the xml part because writing XML is so boring and you will also get bored if I write it in the video. So this thing you can do on your own. And if you have any problem, this is the repository from here. You can copy the code or you can directly pull the repository. The link is given in the description of this video. So let's pull it and then we will create our recycler view. So I will click here clone or download. I will copy this link. I will go to Android Studio and I will select checkout project from version control and then select get and then paste the URL that we copied. Now I will clone it. Now project is cloned. Let's open. Now meanwhile it is syncing with cradle go to google and search uh, material design cradle and select the first link and from here you will get this implementation if you have seen my old videos about recycler view then in those videos i was adding recycler view and card view separately but now we don't need to do that. We just need to add the new material design in our application and we can use everything. Because now Android is switching the support libraries to Android X artifacts. So when you create a new project, let me show you. When you create project with an empty activity, you need to select this language as Kotlin and you need to mark this use Android X artifacts. Okay, so when you are creating a new project, use the settings, but I have already created the project. So the project is synced. Now the first thing I will do is I will add the material, the new material design to build.gradle module app inside dependencies plot. And then again, we need to sync once it is synced, go to res values and styles.xml. And here, instead of this app compact, we will use the new material components. That's it. Now come back to Java. It is an empty project as I have not done anything except the XML. So if you will go to layout, you will find activity main where we already have a recycler view. It is very simple. You can copy or you can write. So it is a recycler view, match parent, match parent is the width and the height and it has an ID. Now for recycler view, for the item of the recycler view, we define a separate layout. So I have here a new layout that is our list item and you can see it here. We have a movie in the item so we are going to create something like a movie booking application so it has image view buttons some Im some relative layout text view text view and text view 
so the layout is very simple you can design it on your own or if you don't want to design you can copy the code from the repository so it is very simple the text view has ids because we need ids to access it in our code so you can copy this thing and to design these things like this background gray background this round background we have some tribals as well for example these three tribals and for this heart icon i have this ic light so you can get everything from the repository now come back to main activity and actually we don't need to do anything now in the main activity but first we need a data class for our list item and in the list i am going to display a movie okay so i will create a class to store a movie and when we create class to store data only it is called data class and in kotlin we have data classes that do not require body so i will create a class named movie and this is a data class so we don't need the class body but we need to define the properties or the data for this class so the first thing that i will define is i will define a val id of type int then val image of type string then val rating of type string and the same way i will define all the values that i need so guys we have our data class it is doing nothing just storing some values and actually it will store some values when we will store by using this data class so we have the class now to display our list in recycler view we need an adapter so an adapter is needed to display the list and what adapter does is adapter feeds our list so adapter holds hold the data that we want to display and then it displays in our list by binding the data to the views so for the adapter of our recycler view we need to create one more class so we will create a new kotlin 5 class and i will create a class named movies adapter and it is a class so this is a class now if you want to create a recycler view adapter you need to extend recycler view dot adapter and for your recycler view adapter you need to define a signature here and in the signature we define the view holder now adapter adapts the data but what a view holder does is view holder holds the view for example in this case we have layout movie is our view so inside this view we are going to bind our data that we want to display okay so to hold this view we need a view holder and for a view holder also we define a class and this class we can define inside our adapter class so we will define a class here and we can name it anything i am going to name it movie view holder and for this class we will get a view and for the constructor we have a view so what we will pass here is we will inflate this layout movie xml file and we will pass it as a view inside our movie view holder class as this class is a view holder we need to extend or inherit recycler view dot view holder and again we need to pass this view that we got here in the movie view holder constructor to this recycler view view holder constructor so we will pass it like this and we have our view holder okay now we can define this movie view holder inside the adapter so we will define it like movies adapter dot movie view holder because the view holder is inside this movies adapter class and to the movies adapter we will get a val this is movies of type list of movies so to the movies adapter we will pass all the movies that we want to display and it is a list of movies i hope you are getting the point 
now what we need to do is uh, I forget to call the adapter constructor so everything is fine now we need to implement some fun functions so alt enter and select implement members and select all the three functions so we have three function you can see the first one is on create view holder now the return type of this function is a movie view holder so what this function does is it creates the view holder so here we will inflate this layout this layout movie layout and then we will pass it to the movie view holder to create an instance of this movie view holder class and then finally we will return this movie view holder instance inside this class so it is actually very simple you just need to write return and then movie view holder because the return type is movie view holder and when you are returning a movie view holder you need to pass a view to this constructor and our item view is this layout underscore movie that we already designed so I will inflate it and I will pass it here so to inflate the layout you can use layout inflator dot from and here you need to pass a context and you can get the context from this parameter this pair this view group parameter that is already inside our on create view holder so we will pass parent dot context then we will call the inflate method and then i will pass the layout id which is r dot layout dot layout movie and then we need to pass the root view group which is here parent so we will pass parent and now if you want to attach it to parent you can pass true if you not if you if you don't want to attach it to parent you can pass false so this function is ready now to this function this function returns the size of our list and the size of our list is equal to the size of this movies list so here we can write movies dot size that's it now finally this function will bind the actual data that we want to display with the view holder so view holder has a view and this view has all the view components where we want to display data for example this image view text view button okay so uh, this view this view holder movie view holder has the view where we have all the components so we will use this movie view holder instance to get this view and from this view we will get all the view component and we will bind the data but the question is from where we will get the data so the data is inside this movies list but we need to get the current movie item that we want to display and to get the current movie that is being displayed we can use this position variable so we can write here val movie equals to movies and position so we got the current movie now we can use this movie to display or to bind all the data with the view and it is very easy you just need to use this holder this movie view holder instance which is holder so we'll write holder dot view dot text view title and we will use the movie dot title so this way we bind data sorry i forget to write text so holder dot view dot text view title dot text equals to movie dot title so this way we will bind all the data so let me do it very quickly so we have binded all the data with our views and one more thing i need here as holder dot view dot text view is new we are not going to bind anything with this text view but we will display it if the movie is a new movie so we can do it like text view is new dot visibility equals to f movie is new i think i forget to define is new in the movie so let's define it so you can define it anywhere let's say movie is new of type boolean come back and movie is new if it is a new movie we will define the visibility to visible 
if not we will define the visibility to invisible fine so we binded all the data to our views and the adapter class is ready we don't need to do anything else for now here now come back to main activity and here we will display some dummy or static data in our recycler view for now and in the next video we will learn how to consume an api to fetch data from a remote server and then we will display the fetch data into our recycler view but for now i am going to display a static list so i will create some dummy data so let's say we have val movies equals to list of and i will create some movies here so first we have id let's say one the for image let's say nothing as we are not using image for now it is a new movie the rating is let's say ua like percentage is 73 vote count is 2300 and title is let's say captain marvel and the type is uh, first we need to define the language language is english and last one type is let's say 3d so we have a movie and i will define multiple movies and i'm using the same thing for all the items if you want you can change it let's say false or you can do anything you want and you can also change the rating and other things but it is a static list just for example just to demonstrate how to create a recycler view and in the next video, we will fetch the data, the actual data from the server. So we have a list of movies. Now we can access our recycler view movies. And we need to set a layout manager for our recycler view. And this layout manager defines how our list will be displayed. For example, I want to create a vertical list. So I will set the layout manager as a linear layout manager because by default the linear layout manager is vertical now i will set the adapter to this recycler view so i will write recycler view dot adapter equals to our movies adapter and here i need to pass the movies that we have here and everything is fine i think it will work so let's try running this application So guys, you can see our list is working. So this is our recycler view that we created. It is not looking good because the resolution of my MacBook is very low as compared to my OnePlus 6T. But in your phone, it will work perfectly and it will look nice. So I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something. And that's all for this video and in the next video we will fetch the data in our list from an external API. So we will learn it in the next video and for this video if you have any confusion or any question you can leave your comments. And please guys if you think this video was helpful then please share it with your friends. And please give me some likes as well. And additionally, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram. Please follow me, guys. I need some followers. So that's all for this video, friends. I will see you in the next video. Thank you, guys. This is Belal Khan signing off. Bye-bye.